number one goes to the Megalosaurus Bucklandi, discovered right here in the UK back in 1815. It's a massive deal because it's the earliest discovered and scientifically analysed dinosaur. Although we have fossils of its bones, jaws and teeth, the full dino is still incomplete. Watch this space. In it too is the Archaeopteryx lithographica, a fossil found back in 1860 by accident in a quarry in Germany with a crow-sized body and delicate bones. The fossil is a big deal because around the bones were the impressions of feathers, the first evidence that birds and dinosaurs were close relatives. The Diplodocus skeleton, discovered by a man called Andrew Carnegie, takes three. It's the biggest dinosaur we know of, and he found a near-complete skeleton back in the 1890s in the USA. Carnegie made replicas of it and sent them to museums around the world, including one that lives at the Natural History Museum in London, called Dippy. In at four is the Deinonychus anteropus, or terrible claw. This feisty fellow, discovered back in the 1960s in America, was the first time we realised dinosaurs can be fast-moving, highly intelligent, keen-sighted predators. Finally, at five, it's the Sinosauroteryx. In 1996, it was discovered in China, virtually complete. The most exciting part was the trace of a wispy fringe around the outside, or fur. This led to the discovery that many dinosaurs were actually feathered and that some could even fly. Hey guys, Ricky here. For more Newsround videos, check out the Newsround website and the CBBC YouTube channel.